Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. We also have an update regarding renowned singer and model Shakira. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 15. Michael Ward, an acclaimed American guitarist noted for his unique sound and substantial impact on the alternative rock scene, passed away at the age of 57. As a founding member of School of Fish, his superb guitar playing on the smash Three Strange Days is a defining moment in rock history. His collaborations with music giants, including Jacob Dylan of the Wallflowers, culminated in the multi-platinum album Bringing Down the Horse and a Grammy Award for One Headlight. Aside from his band contributions, his talent was sought after by producers and musicians alike, resulting in over 50 album recordings with well-known names like Ben Harper and John Hyatt. His innovative approach to the guitar had a lasting impact on the music industry, affecting generations of performers and fans worldwide. As tributes flow in, his legacy as a guitarist, collaborator, and mentor will be celebrated and remembered. His musical career brought him all over the world, but he remained a dedicated session musician and teacher in Los Angeles, sharing his enthusiasm for music with others. Tributes to Michael Ward. Number 14. Keith LeBlanc, the groundbreaking American drummer and record producer known for his work with Little Axe, Tackhead, and pivotal contributions to the evolution of sample-based music, passed away at the age of 70. A pioneer in the industry, his record No Sellout was one of the first to use sampling, marking a watershed event in music history and reaching number 60 on the UK singles chart. His illustrious career began with Sugar Hill Records where he collaborated with hip-hop giants Grandmaster Flash and Mel Mel, as well as being a crucial contributor to Nine Inch Nails' groundbreaking record Pretty Hate Machine. His innovative mentality extended beyond his music to his personal label, which served as a forum for his experimental sounds and sample records. Starting his musical journey with the Beatles' Ringo Starr, his aptitude and enthusiasm for drums were evident from an early age. His legacy has shaped modern music, inspiring genres and performers around the world. His contributions to the music industry have left an unmistakable impression, which is appreciated by both fans and fellow performers. Tributes to Keith LeBlanc. Number 13. William Kidston, a revered photographer whose career spanned decades in Hollywood, passed away at the age of 68 after a battle with prostate cancer. Kidston, known for his characteristic eye patch, was a popular fixture on numerous red carpets, capturing the essence of Hollywood's most glittering events, including the Oscars, Grammy Awards, and the Hollywood Christmas Parade. His work garnered him three Emmy Awards, demonstrating his exceptional talent and commitment to his industry. His efforts went beyond the glamour of Hollywood. He spent six years as the Hollywood Museum's staff photographer, documenting cinematic history through his lens, his early life in Azusa and West Covina, as well as his education at Cal State University Long Beach, provided the groundwork for a career that would see him become a mainstay in the entertainment industry. Recognized for his dependability, and admired by publicists and celebrities alike. Aside from his career accomplishments, he was extremely committed to community service, volunteering at his church and supporting charitable organizations and the disabled community. His life reflected his idea that discovering one's destiny is as important as the day one is born. He leaves a legacy of beautiful imagery, generosity, and community involvement, 
He is survived by his daughter Juliet and brothers David and Keith. A private memorial will be conducted in his honor, honoring a life that was as powerful as it was inspiring. Tributes to William Kidston. Number 12. Jerry Abbott, a pioneering figure in American music, passed away at the age of 81. Renowned as a country music songwriter and record producer, his impact extended beyond the genre, most notably as the father and early producer of Vinnie Paul and Dimebag Daryl of Pantera. From his early touring days in Texas to the foundation of Pantego Sound Studio, his legacy is rich in musical creativity and mentorship. His work established the groundwork for Pantera's breakthrough style, as he produced their first four albums and founded Metal Magic Records. Later in his career, he moved to Nashville and made a substantial contribution to the country music scene, with renowned singers like as Emmylou Harris and Freddie Fender benefiting from his songwriting abilities. His life was marked by terrible loss, including the tragic losses of his boys and wife Carolyn. Nonetheless, his profound influence on the music industry lives on acclaimed for combining the ferocity of heavy metal with the storytelling of country music. Tributes to Jerry Abbott. Number 11. Vielka Pulido, known to her followers as La Bendi, tragically passed away at the young age of 21. She was famous not only for her influential social media presence, but also for her entrepreneurial energy, as demonstrated by her Bendi shop, where she sold perfumes. Her ingenuity and bravery in creating a brand around her persona earned her respect and a devoted following. Her sudden passing alongside her lover, as they exited a gym in Puebla, Mexico, has left an empty space in the hearts of people who appreciated her vivacity and dedication. Her contributions to the digital world and foray into entrepreneurship will be remembered as her legacy continues to inspire future influencers and entrepreneurs alike. Number 10. Anna Krevskaya, a talented model with a zest for life, passed away at the age of 21. Anna, who was born in Odessa, Ukraine, had established herself in the modeling industry by winning hearts with her beauty and charisma. Her adventurous personality and love of travel were clear in the bright stories she shared with her fans, which documented her global travels and the various cultures she encountered along the way. Her legacy is not only the stunning photos she leaves behind, but also the joy and inspiration she offered to those who knew her and followed her journey. Her life exemplified the joys of travel and the value of aggressively pursuing one's hobbies. Tributes to Anna Krivskaya. Number 9. Fred Gamble, a pioneer on the racetrack, passed away at the age of 92 in Honolulu, Hawaii. His motorsports career, which began in the colorful streets of Pittsburgh and culminated on the world stage of Formula One, exemplified a life driven by passion and precision. His participation in the 1960 Italian Grand Prix, which established him in the renowned world of Formula One, was a highlight of his career. Beyond the track, he left a legacy of mentoring new talent and innovating within the sport, exhibiting a commitment that went beyond the races he ran. He was regarded as more than just a great driver. He was a visionary who handled the difficulties of racing with grace and perseverance, making an everlasting impression on the world of motorsports. Tributes to Fred Gamble. Number 8. Peter Wilk, a revered figure in American college and semi-professional baseball, passed away at the age of 58 after a valiant battle with brain cancer. As a Rollins College alumnus, his enthusiasm for baseball led him to become an effective coach. His term as Georgetown's head coach from 2000 to 2020 is significant for rejuvenating the team, 
and taking it to its first Big East baseball tournament since 1986. Despite setbacks, including NCAA penalties, his leadership remained unwavering, as did his commitment to the sport and his players. After Georgetown, he continued to make an effect on baseball as manager of the Vermont Lake Monsters, leading them to success in the Futures Collegiate Baseball League. His impact extends beyond the field, as he is known for his determination, ethics, and the lasting impression he had on those he coached. Tributes to Peter Wilk Number 7. Thomas John Gumbleton, a distinguished American prelate of the Catholic Church and a fervent social activist, passed away at the age of 94 after a lifetime dedicated to peace and justice. Bishop Gumbleton, who served as an auxiliary bishop of the Archdiocese of Detroit from 1968 until 2006, was both a church leader and a symbol of societal progress. He advocated for a variety of issues, including anti-war movements and the rights of underprivileged populations, garnering him love and esteem far beyond the Catholic world. Bishop Gumbleton's passion for peace prompted him to take part in several rallies against nuclear weapons, wars, and violence, which frequently resulted in his detention alongside other activists. His commitment to social justice was further demonstrated by his participation in the formation of the Michigan Coalition for Human Rights with renowned leaders from all faiths and his unwavering fight for victims within the church. Bishop Gumbleton's reputation as a compassionate leader, peacemaker, and champion of the oppressed continues to inspire many people. Tributes to Thomas John Gumbleton. Number six, Lynn Reed Banks, the renowned author whose first novel, The L-Shaped Room, became a cultural phenomenon upon its release in 1960, passed away at the age of 94. A trailblazer whose writing spoke to the core of societal change, she captured millions with her engaging stories and lively characters, leaving an unforgettable influence on literature. While The L-Shaped Room focused on the complications of unmarried pregnancy and social isolation, her writing skills extended to both adult and children's books. Her children's classic, The Indian in the Cupboard, captivated young readers throughout the world, confirming her status as a versatile and effective storyteller. Aside from her intriguing stories, she was recognized for her vibrant personality and passionate involvement with life's issues and injustices. Her dedication to her craft, as well as her ability to address social concerns with empathy and depth, earned her accolades and a place in the hearts of readers across generations. Despite the slights of the literary world, her creative energy endured, as seen by her sustained popularity and influence. Tributes to Lynn Reed Banks. Number 5. Judd Ellis Matheny, a dedicated public servant and former county mayor of Coffee County, Tennessee, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 53. Born in Knoxville and a lifelong Tennessean, his career in public service ranged from law enforcement to state representation, ending in his leadership as county mayor. His dedication to his neighborhood and the state was evident in his considerable service, which included time in the Tennessee Army National Guard, and an entrepreneurial enterprise in private security that helped to ensure the safety and well-being of Nashville businesses. He was not only a politician but also an active member of the Coffee County Republican Party, different chambers of commerce, and a number of local and national organizations, proving his commitment to civic involvement and conservation. As a Methodist and parent, he blended governmental duties with personal commitments, creating a legacy of unwavering loyalty to his convictions and loved ones. His political career, which included endorsements for politicians such as Rick Perry and Ted Cruz, demonstrated his extensive engagement and influence within the Republican Party. His sudden departure has left a vacuum in the hearts of everyone he served and worked with. Tributes to Judd Matheny.
Number 4. Pat Zachary, a name celebrated in the annals of Major League Baseball and revered for his remarkable rookie year performance, passed away at the age of 71. His rise from a talented young athlete in Waco, Texas, to a seasoned pitcher for teams including the Cincinnati Reds and New York Mets exemplifies the spirit of American baseball. His excellent initial season in 1976 not only garnered him the Rookie of the Year award, but he also made an everlasting impact to the Big Red Machine's World Series victory. Although he is best known for his role in the Tom Seaver deal, his legacy is far more extensive, marked by his resilience, skill, and passion for the game. Beyond the mound, his life was marked by determination, from his early days in the minor leagues to his stints with the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. His shift to coaching demonstrated his lifelong passion of baseball, as well as his ability to pass on expertise to future generations. The terrible death of his wife in 2016 highlighted his personal tenacity as he faced life's unexpected challenges with the same bravery he demonstrated on the field. His passing is a tremendous loss not only to those who knew him or the clubs for which he played, but to everyone who values baseball's rich history and enduring spirit. Tributes to Pat Zachary Number 3. Kaya Arua, a towering figure in Papua New Guinea cricket and a source of inspiration for aspiring athletes, passed away at the age of 33. Her legacy is more than simply the runs she scored or the wickets she took. It is the path she paved for women's cricket in Papua New Guinea and abroad. As captain, she led with drive and grace, making key contributions to her team's victories, particularly her spectacular five-wicket haul against Japan which demonstrates her skill and leadership. Her debut in the 2017 Women's Cricket World Cup qualifier, as well as following performances in key international events like the ICC Women's World 2020 qualifier, demonstrated her dedication to the game in her country. Her selection to the ICC Women's Global Development Squad demonstrated her global effect, drawing attention to the talent and potential of women's cricket in lesser-known cricketing nations. Off the field, her legacy is equally significant. Kaya leaves behind a family of two children, a son and a girl, who will grow up knowing their mother was a cricket pioneer. As the cricketing community mourns her passing, her spirit and accomplishments will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Kaya Arua. Number 2. Marcia Denser, an influential Brazilian journalist and writer, passed away at the age of 74. She is a well-known figure in Sao Paulo's literary scene, having contributed to periodicals like Nova and written insightful essays for Folha de Paulo. Her pioneering work, particularly in the field of adult literature, defied traditional standards and created new channels for female expression in Brazil. Her anthologies, Muito Prazer and O Prazer é Todo Meu, are seminal works that honor women's voices in sensual short stories, demonstrating her commitment to presenting feminine perspectives and pleasures. Her literary legacy is distinguished by her diverse storytelling, ranging from the mournful yarns of Tango Phantasma to the nuanced tales of O Animal dos Motes and Caim. Her poems, which were translated into various languages, elevated Brazilian culture and intricacies to the global stage. Her leadership at the Adart Cultural Center helped to grow the country's literary landscape by mentoring budding writers and promoting Brazilian literature. Her passing has left a void in the hearts of people who knew and respected her work. Nonetheless, her written thoughts survive, immortalizing her intelligence, wit, and profound insight of human nature. Marcia Denser's impact as a storyteller and promoter of women's literature continues to inspire and resound. Tributes to Marcia Denser. Today's top headlines. News 1. Shakira, the Colombian music sensation, humorously critiques her earlier singing style, specifically her iconic yodel, admitting she may have overdone it in her early career. 
During a candid chat on Hot Ones, the artist, fresh from releasing her 12th album, Las Mujeres Ya No Lloran, shared her reflections on her vocal journey. Citing changes post-pregnancy and personal growth, Shakira notes a more mature, fuller sound has emerged, showcasing her evolution not just as a vocalist, but as a person and artist. Embracing her past with a lighthearted perspective, Shakira's journey from her self-critical, I used to suck to embracing her artistic evolution, illustrates her relentless pursuit of self-improvement and authenticity. News 2. A surprising 4.8 magnitude earthquake centered in Lebanon, New Jersey, sent shockwaves through the tri-state area, leaving New Yorkers and celebrities alike turning to social media with witty comments. Governor Kathy Hochul assured the public of ongoing assessments, while personalities like Jimmy Fallon and Roy Wood Jr. lightened the mood with their humorous takes. Fallon playfully blamed the tremors on a dance party with Godzilla, while Wood humorously denied the quake's existence, attributing the rumble to Kendrick Lamar's studio dynamics. Even the Empire State Building chimed in, ensuring everyone it was fine. This event marks the area's most significant seismic activity since the 2011 quake that was felt from Georgia to Canada. Now it's time to remember the legend who passed away in the past years. Number one, Kurt Cobain, the iconic frontman of Nirvana, passed away at the tender age of 27 on April 5, 1994. His sudden passing created a gap in the music industry and among fans throughout the world, making it one of rock and roll's most poignant tragedies. His raw, emotionally charged music not only defined the grunge period, but also gave a voice to a generation struggling with disillusionment and a need for authenticity. His legacy lives on in Nirvana's record, a monument to his talent and the everlasting impression he made on music history. From the angst-ridden songs of Nevermind to the introspective profundity of In Utero, Cobain's music continues to connect with listeners across generations. His lyrics melded the cerebral and the visceral, reflecting the mood of the moment while delving into themes of alienation, existential dread, and the search for meaning. On this anniversary of his passing, we remember Kurt Cobain not only for the circumstances surrounding his death, but also for the vitality and significance of his life. His music, known for its emotional depth and raw fire, continues to inspire and challenge, cementing his place in the pantheon of rock titans, tributes to Kurt Cobain.